Hello, this is Yo Sensei. When you are working on an architectural projects, it is useful to have a site model built in 3D. This way, you can design the buildings with sense of surroundings and context. In today's video, you will learn how to construct a site context for an architectural project using Rhino and Twinmotion with information from Google Maps. First, go and download your site images for both map view and satellite view with the same scale. So one thing that we would like to do uh, is to first uh, have, uh, well, lastly, we're going to have a model like this that has buildings, sidewalks, uh, other buildings, and uh, uh, in this case, the uh, slope uh, of the site, uh, and uh, street and beach, sand, and the water. And uh, so uh, to get that, uh, first, what you need to do is to download a image uh, of the site, so site map. Uh, you can grab it from Google Maps. Um, and uh, so after grabbing that from Google Maps, what you are going to do is to uh, run picture command. Picture command. Uh, and. Um, run uh, site picture and then uh, after that you have to scale it properly so you are going to go to find the scale bar uh, which you download from the um, which is uh, in the same uh, image as the map file and type scale and click on one side and click on the other side for reference and type 200 feet. Okay. So that is going to uh, properly uh, import your uh, image. Second, uh, we would like to create a satellite uh, layer and then type picture and uh, find the image of the satellite image. And in this case, in theory, they are supposed to be the same scale. So uh, I just, I'll just use the same um, size for the, um, for the map. So now we have both um, satellite and the map uh, images. Uh, they are on top of exactly same uh, location so you can just move one down and uh, then if you can just you know uh, turn off the layer you can see the others okay so uh, whatever is on top is going to show on top so that's how you get the um, scale of the building uh, of the uh, images so next uh, what you would like to do is to build sidewalks and um, if you build the sidewalks uh, it's going to help you to really define uh, where is the street, uh, where, um, you know, what defines a block and uh, where is the street. So drawing sidewalks is extremely important. So drawing sidewalks, uh, what you can do uh, in this case is um, I would like to actually use the um, Uh, map. So with the map layer um, on, you can actually go on top of the uh, blocks and uh, start drawing uh, the boxes. Okay. So in this case, I'm just going to go and uh, draw these boxes. But it's a lot faster and easier to just rotate the whole image and um, get uh, the image to be straight to the viewport. That way uh, you can use just rectangles to draw the blocks. So um, I prefer uh, doing that way. And then just bring back the directions later. 
so you can draw these things. And um, and when you get it, um, one thing that is going to be useful is to uh, run fillet command, and about 15 feet for the radius of the sidewalks. Uh, you can just um, run the fillet command to um, create round corners. So you do that for everything, and that's going to become something like this. So, you know, uh, depending on uh, the extent of the context you want to build, uh, I just built, uh, you know, about two or three blocks uh, extending from the building. Now, uh, the height of the sidewalks are typically six inches. So uh, you can just select these and extrude by six inches. by uh, 0.5 feet since uh, you know feet is our um, unit so that's uh, six inches of sidewalks okay so uh, that's that. and uh, then when you draw buildings you, what you can do is go to the top view and um, change it to wireframe mode and uh, I'm going to activate my building layer and uh, just go ahead and, uh, you know, just uh, click around to uh, get the general shape of this building. Um, and, you know, our building here. It's a little bit off, but, you know, I think it's fine. Um, I'm going to be pretty detailed just for the main building and uh, everything else I am just going to draw like a box um, even this yeah this one I would just draw L shape okay. and uh, rest of it just draw it like you know 3D boxes So, how do we know the height of the building? And uh, so this is kind of like general educated guess that you need to make. So uh, what could be helpful is a image like this. Um, So you go to Google uh, Google Maps and then find a picture like this. And uh, on this one, what you can read is that uh, this main building has uh, three layers of windows. That's about 30 feet. Uh, this one has uh, five layers. So that's 50 feet. So you can kind of like think it as a 10 feet per floor. Uh, so in this case, I'm just gonna hide this guy and uh, say, you know, this one, this one is 30 feet. Extrude uh, 30 feet. And uh, this one is 50 feet. And um, so you can kind of like look at this and uh, this one is two story, three and five. Uh, two story, 20 and three story, 30 and uh, five story, 50. And uh, when your mouse is actually below uh, this, it will uh, ex extrude into a wrong direction. So uh, be careful with that. So you keep doing this and uh, until you have all, all of the buildings. Okay. Um, 
So in this case, uh, after that, uh, what you can do is to um, go to uh, your satellite image again. And uh, in this case, I have decided to uh, create a line here uh, where my um, so now I can kind of like go back to satellite image and adjust uh, adjust the view. Uh, this is my and uh, satellite. So I'm gonna move my satellite. And uh, so I can, now I can just draw lines uh, where uh, landscape is going to emerge. Um, this area has this kind of like parking thing, uh, which is kind of cool. And uh, so this is kind of, you know, uh, how it is on the street. Um, I'm just going to ignore this this part. So, so I have this line uh, that is going to be edge of the road, and uh, I'm just going to also take the edge of the road uh, below. Um, so this is going to be where the hill is going to be, and uh, another edge of the road. So that is the edge of the road. So uh, what we can do uh, is, um, so just so you know, the height difference between Pacific Coast Highway here on this side and uh, this top side is about um, 120 feet. So you can just draw uh, these lines and then lost between them. So height, and uh, so what we, can, we know is uh, this line these lines are uh, 120 feet lower. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, click uh, on the top arrow of this and type minus 120 feet. So that's the height difference between um, my road and uh, this one. Um, and uh, so I'm going to create a, you know, somewhat lines that are uh, going to be the, you know, landscape uh, using, so that's going to be the hill layer. And um, it, you will get better result when you actually use uh, this kind of like simple polyline and preferably the same um, length. So this is the bottom of the hill, uh, minus 120. And then uh, I will have another line uh, here that is going to kind of be uh, the center line uh, between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, side view or perspective view, uh, record history and loft. And then this is going to let you create uh, this hill and uh, you can click on this line and then just drop it down to uh, see uh, what kind of hill are you trying to get. I think it gets, it starts pretty steep in the beginning and uh, it drops uh, significantly. So I'm trying to make it so that it doesn't go uh, over. Uh, in the beginning part, so it doesn't. But there is going to be a significant uh, drop, so maybe you know, doing something like that. So that's nice. So that would be how to create hill. Uh, also, you will uh, need another layer uh, that is going to be road, um, and road is. Um, you take the line that you created for the edge of the road and then uh, draw um, a rectangle, rectangular kind of edge for that. 
and then you will just join them. Uh, make sure that your you, your lines in are in the same location, same height. Uh, that will uh, prevent you from creating surface. So now you can just extrude it uh, downwards for like two feet or something minus uh, minus two. Okay. So that would be the solid. Uh, but the road is supposed to be lower than the um, sidewalk by six inch. So you can type uh, minus 0.5. Okay, so that is that. And uh, so uh, this surface is actually interfering uh, with, with my road. So you can kind of like make it lower so that you will see the road. Okay. Um, that road down here is locked in between these. So uh, that would be the road uh, down here. Uh, and then next is to draw the beach. So um, you can take this line, I guess, curve, and then copy this. And then uh, copy a couple times more. Um, I kind of want to see the beach that is slightly more kind of uneven. So, um, you know, you can play with uh, the line a little bit. We are going to build uh, the sand beach. Uh, so we can just uh, record history and then loft between these three. Lines, uh, and uh, they should be uh, in the beach layer. Uh, okay. So um, on this one, uh, also we will draw a uh, big plane as a water. So you can go to uh, surface plane, rectangle, rectangular plane. And uh, so we can draw a uh, plane for the water. And uh, I guess this one can be really big. So, um, and then we will determine uh, where the water is going to be. So it's going to be a little bit below the, um, the sand. Now, uh, we can then uh, take the curves of uh, the beach and uh, start uh, getting it to uh, come down. And uh, so this is kind of like the line of the water. And uh, you can look at the top view, uh, the satellite view, and um, kind of figure out where uh, the line of the water is going to be. Um, and uh, so you can adjust it. I guess we can uh, do ghosted view. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess the line of the water is a lot more straight than uh, what I what I have. So straight. Okay, so that's pretty good uh, in terms of how um, the beach is going to intersect with uh, um, with with the water. So uh, what do we have here uh, is. Eventually, uh, what you want to have here is going to be the buildings, uh, sidewalks, uh, the roads, uh, the roads, the hill, uh, the sand, and the water. So, um, so you will be building all of these. Uh, one thing that I recommend you to do uh, eventually is to. Uh, change back the rotation of the site uh, to original position. So if you um, type rotate and then click on one corner and click on the other corner and hold shift to bring it back to 90 degrees, um, this will uh, give you a true north uh, for the direction of the, um, of the site. So that's, that's better. Okay. 
So uh, another thing that you could do is to run a uh, cell curve command, select curves, uh, and then hide all the curves that you use for construction. So this one is uh, ready to go. So um, we are going to bring this to um, to twin motion. Uh, but one thing that would be helpful is for you to uh, determine the origin point of this model. So uh, select everything that you would like to. Uh, also, uh, you should be uh, assigning uh, materials for each layer. Uh, so each layer has a unique uh, materiality uh, assigned to it. And uh, that way, uh, if you don't do that, the motion won't uh, recognize the objects as uh, different layers. So uh, you have to do that. So when you have this, have everything, you can select all and then go to uh, export with origin. Okay, this one is uh, very important. So export with origin, and then you will uh, click on the uh, bottom corner of the main building to be um, origin point of this. And if you do that, uh, it's going to let you, um, you know, use the pivot point in three motion is going to be where that is. So that's very important. So uh, I'm just gonna export it. And then, you know, medium size for the mesh is fine. So now uh, you will go into three motion and um, Okay, so now I am in twin motion and uh, I am going to import the FBX. Uh, the setting uh, is going to be um, open my FBX file. Right context. And then you wanna change the app access to auto and uh, everything else is fine. And then you will um, have this one. So uh, that's good. Uh, by default, the speed is very slow. So I would recommend you to change it to car, car speed. Um, so what we have here is that uh, we have this ground plane uh, that is hiding the uh, a lot of things. So what we wanna do is we wanna turn off uh, the ground plane. But when you do that, one thing that I would like to do is uh, the ground the ocean level should be at the same level as the ground plane. So I wanna just move this up so that, um, move the whole thing up so that uh, water is going to be on the uh, same level as ground plane. And uh, you can hide this. Um, the city view uh, in the background is pretty annoying. So you can go into this settings and location and background and uh, change it to none. So uh, after that, you can, um, you know, uh, apply materials and uh, do center line and put trees and all of these, um, you know, which is going to be and then you will get this kind of, you know, simple uh, site uh, site plan. Type model. Um, so, so having a good site plan is very, very useful uh, in the setup of uh, architectural projects. So uh, then you can really understand uh, where this building is located and all of that. So I hope this was useful and uh, for your project. So uh, I will see you for the next time.